Hello guys, I'm Batdan16 PS3, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Uh, so let me plug my steering wheel in here. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a Gran Turismo 6 video, obviously I had the problems going on. But uh, I hope the two grid videos that went up on Wednesday appeased you all and made you really excited for that new series. I have actually found out how to drive the cars properly, it was the stability control that was screwing me up something chronic. Uh, so look out for a new episode of that coming on Wednesday. But for this episode, we are going back into the National B tier and we are going to attempt the FR Challenge. Uh, last episode we did the FF Challenge for Front Engine Front Wheel Drive. This time it's Front Engine Rear Wheel Drive. And I'm going to need to change my car to my Nissan Fairlady Z. Ooh, nice sound. Uh, 580 pp maximum, I've got 461. So this one might be good. I might actually get some good racing out of this and not blitz everyone from start to finish. Although one thing I do need to do with this car, while I remember, is tuning parts. Uh, power. And the obligatory sports computer. Boost it up slightly. Come on, it used to be much faster than that. Right, let's go back in here. And we've got three races one round Grand Valley Speedway, the Trial Mountain, and then the full Silverstone course. Two laps for each one. Silverstone could be a fun one. Alright, let's get going. Oh yeah, I remembered I turned all the music off because one of my videos has a copyright notice on it for some of the music that was used in the background. So all my music has gone. Uh, let's double check all the assists. Yeah. And go. Don't want that view. There we go. Right, let's chase after Carpenter. If this thing would turn, that would be fantastic. Get out the way. I forgot to change gear. Idiot. Now he's getting away. Oh, that's a sweet move. Inside of one, outside of the other. That's nice. Let's move into fourth. Chase down these two now. This car's handling is really slow. Oh dear. Didn't break enough. Another lap to try and catch these three. I might need it to catch the guy in first. Hopefully I won't need it to catch these two. Looks like that German is way out in front. It seems like my car might be a little bit underpowered. No, get off the grass. They're incoming. Sorry. I'll take your place though. Right, let's try and catch this guy then. I'm not particularly proud of that pass, but I'm going to have to live with it. Stupid braking while turning thing wasn't working. As it shouldn't, really. Uh, the car's steering is so slow. I'm having to go pretty much a full quarter turn to actually get it round some of these corners, and it wasn't taking that much before. What was I in first gear for that? See, look at that understeer. If you can hear, I can proper fight in the wheel right now. Around his outside, got him. Little bit of rubbing as he decided to float out to the 
left. I've forgotten what the look back button is. Oh well, it's that one. There we go. Three tenths of a second. Not my proudest moment getting past that Supra or the Z4, but uh, I'll take it. Win is a win. So now we move on after we get our ten and a half thousand. You'll notice that my login bonus never goes above 110. That's because I don't play every day. I sort of take one or two days off and by that point you have lost the bonus sequence. So I'm always on 110. Right, next race. Trial Mountain. Hmm. Do I upgrade my car a little bit? Nah. Let's go for it. There's no reward without at least a little bit of risk first. We've got Corvette, Mercedes C-Class, CLK, RX-7, and an Infiniti G35. Not sure how these cars are power-wise, but I might be in trouble. I'm expecting to be in trouble anyway. It's my bog-standard car, apart from the racing chip. Come here. outside. Can the steering hold it? Just about. Just about held it. Carl's trying to throw me into a bloody wall. And again. Come on, hold it. Aren't rear wheel drive cars. Uh, coming in. Whoopsie daisy. Scraped him a little bit. Yeah, aren't rear-wheel drive cars supposed to be very under oversteery? This one's completely backwards. Seven seconds to make up. Let's go for the tighter line in there. It spits me out into the wall. Don't need to break there. What are you on about? Stupid game. Need to there, though. And that. is outside. Got him. Right, third place in one lap. Two to go. Let's try and not roll my car on this verge. Lots of air there. He's still behind me. Good. Nah, thought better of that one. Driving into a disappearing wedge. Let's try and ghost around his outside as well. Got it done. And nearly went into the wall the other side. A bit too deep. Right, just the American hops to go. Spit me into a wall. Ooh, just about. American versus Japanese. It's World War Two all over again. Come here, you bastard. Yoink! Unlike the first time around, the Japanese win this one. History has been rewritten. Don't need to break there. Tell the game I don't need to break there, then a lap later I break there. Clock. Got 
Come on, hold it, hold it. There we go. He's dropped well far back. Maybe that's because he knows that I'm dangerous around this corner because I fly. Oh, I've kept two wheels on the tarmac that time. And another win. So yeah, far cry from the grid series of videos I'm doing. I'm actually winning races in this one, rather than coming 13th or 8th or wherever it was. Nice, another load of cash, another three stars. And I want to exit. Two down, one to go. Just Silverstone left. This is going to be fun in this car. Especially through Maggots, Beckets and that little wiggly bit. A car that understeers like a truck. Come on, we got oh Vanquish, M3, Z8, Carlton, and when this game wants to give me the next page, that'd be great. Come on, I'm pressing the button. <laughs> Fine, screw you. I don't know what else I'm racing against. Looks like it's a Toyota Supra with that rear wing. It is a Supra. Check me out on my car knowledge. Got away without touching him. That's the most important point. Looky but no touchy. And around the outside of him too. Two places and two corners. Love it when that happens. Although the first race with two places in one corner was even better. Right, three more to go, right at the end of the straight already. Bloody hell. This is the bit that's going to test my car's handling. As Martin Brundle once said, this is a really clumsy corner. It just feels like it goes on and on. There's so many ways to cock it up. Not run wire, that'd be great, thank you. Could have done with doing that a bit faster, but looks like I'm attempting to gain on these three. At least third place is dropping from the pack. Whoopsie daisy, my mistake. Tried doing the Formula One gear changes through there and I realised I'm not in a Formula One car. furthest thing from it. But I still caught up on them a mass amount. That's ridiculous. And I'm pulling away from the guys behind me. You can break late into stow. That's a disappearing wedge. Gonna have to ride the grass a little bit. There's nowhere else for me to go. Don't swing right, don't swing right. He swung right. Idiot, can you not see there's a car in front of you? Look out the bloody window, man. Right, one lap, two to go. Trujillo and McGowan. Spaniard and another Brit. Come on. Turn your... Fat lump of car. Rand is outside on this one. Oh, 
look to get the Aston, but I couldn't quite make it. Gear change and a lack of acceleration hampered me on that one. And you went really wide into that one. I'll take that place, thank you very much. That felt like a better exit out of that one. Hey, come on. Now I'm finally starting to get a bit of tail happy slidingness when I don't particularly want it. That's just typical. Actually, do this one properly this time. And down the hangar straight for the last time. What's the gap? 3.3 seconds. You can break late into this one. But then you oversteer wide like I'm doing now. Oops. So glad I had that three second gap. Oh, and they all sort of so class the finish line is right at the top end rather than that bottom one. Uh, 229. I'm only nine seconds slower than I was in that GTR. Around one lap, anyway. Another nice haul of credits. Just under 350,000. Start looking at buying some cars that I need for upcoming races. For right now, let's exit. There we go, three gold trophies, three sets of three stars. Complete. Uh, I know I said in an earlier video, I can't remember which one it was, that I'd do all of the races first, down to here, and then the mission races, the coffee breaks, the one-mate races, and all that lot first, and then do the license last. But because the National A license you need to get to all the online stuff, into the open lobby, as I'll show you, National A license is required. In the next video, I'm doing the National A license so I can finally start doing some online stuff. I've got some collaborations in the pipeline that need online, so I need to get that done quickly and rather than waste another one, two, three, four, five, five videos and then the license test, I might as well just do the license test. Um, as I'm probably going to suck horribly at this, would you guys prefer to watch me suck horribly over a video or two? Or would you rather see me complete it all to gold and then show you all of my gold runs? Uh, if you could put that in the comments underneath this video, that would be great. Um, but for now, I shall see you in the next video for this will be the A license. And the next video from me will be my third episode of Grid Autosport. So I shall see you on Wednesday. Thanks very much for watching, and see you then.